Hey adventurer, welcome to a Sunhaven guide on farm animals. Let's get started. There are several types of animals that you can have on your farm that produce a product that you can sell. Some come from Sunhaven and a few come from Nelvari. If you travel north of your farm and come over to Kitty's house, she will have several different animals that you can choose from to purchase. Now starting out, you'll have chickens and cows and later you can unlock sheep and pigs. You can purchase animals by simply interacting with the little signposts here that are in front of their enclosures and it'll tell you how much they cost and how much capacity they take up on your farm. We'll touch on capacity later. Part of the general store in Nelvari is where you'll find the animal shop for Nelvari. Now here you can purchase silk moths, baby griffins, and baby stumps. Again, you're going to interact with the signs just outside or inside their enclosure for the cost and their capacity rating. Each of these animals are going to produce a product that you can sell at your farm. But how do you take care of these animals? Do you need all the fancy stuff that you see here? Not to get started, let's go over all the items you'll need that are essential to having your first animals, maybe a cow or a chicken. First off, you're going to want to buy some wheat seeds from Emmett over at the general store in Sunhaven and get those planted. You'll be able to make a grinder from your crafting table. That's this one right here in the middle of the screen to create animal food. They take one wheat to create two animal food. Each animal on your farm is going to eat one animal food per day. Now along with food, you also have to give your animals some love. You want to walk up to them and press E to pet and this will increase their little heart meter that's right beh beside their health bar and their indicator if they've been fed or not. If you're feeding your animals by hand, simply have your food in your hot bar and select it, go up to your animal, and you'll be able to press E to feed them. Now let's talk animal products. Let's see what each of these animals is going to give us as a product per day. As expected, cows are gonna give us milk. They're gonna sell for 192 coins apiece. Eggs from chickens at 132. Wool from our sheep at 275. Earth crystals from pigs, which can be very beneficial for making fertilizers on your farm. Those will sell for 30 if you don't choose to make them into a fertilizer. Silk from silk moths, logs from baby stumps, and finally feathers from baby griffins. Some of these items can be used to craft other items such as cooking recipes and cheese, pizza, or like we talked about fertilizers for the earth crystals. Other items like the wool and the feather don't quite yet have a second use. You can go ahead and ship those out for some extra coin. Now, what if you want a really cool setup like I have with a barn and all these extra things and a fence? Well, the gate and the fence are able to be crafted at any time from your crafting station here on your farm. And you can pick up a barn, an automatic feeder and an automatic collector from Emmett over in the town hall. He's going to be the guy with the green build symbol above his head in town hall, not Bernard. Bernard's the one that sells love letters and engagement rings. So what do these things do? Barns are able to hold your animals and they come with feed bins and a couple of little decorations that you can move around as well. They can be used as storage for other things or uh, you can decorate it to make it a whole new house of its own. The automatic feeder allows you to put food, animal food specifically, into it and feed animals automatically once per day. Now this requires feeding bins, guys. You have to have these bins to be able to have your animals fed. Now this is, goes by the number of animals you have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have to have eight feed bins or I will not have everybody fed per day. Make sure you have enough feed bins to be able to feed all of your animals if you're using the automatic system. The automatic collector is really cool because it requires no extra work on your side of things. All you have to do is check it and it will hold all of your goodies from every single animal that is in its vicinity for as long as you want. So you can see here, I just let these stack up and I just take when there's a full stack of something. So maybe I should take some milk. All right, let's talk about capacity that we mentioned earlier. Each one of your animals on the farm counts as one or two capacity for the amount of animals that you're allowed to have on your farm. 
the majority of the animals that we have are going to count for two. The only animals that count as one capacity are the baby stumps and chickens, okay? You're going to be given a specific number of capacity that you're allowed to have on your farm. Now you can increase this by leveling up your farming experience points and choosing the full house skill increasing your max animal slots on your farm by four, eight, or 12. I've got mine all the way up to 26, and it is up in the top corner. Let's move this so you can see. All right, 14 out of 26, so I've got room for more animals, more room to grow. Another skill you're gonna want to invest points in is called New Friends. That is the ability to purchase sheep and pigs from Kitty in Sunhaven. You're gonna have to spend two points on those. Another cool perk to consider is Kitty sending you free food once a week. I've put in some points there and she sends me some goodies every Monday. Another last perk I'd like to mention is Golden Heart. Now this increases the chance that your animals are going to give you a golden produce item. Yay, more coins, all right? So something to invest in once you've got your production increased and your coin increased and that's going to be those first two top shelf and happy animals. Now you might be thinking, Rosalind, what about pets? What, what, they're, they're, they're so cute. Don't they give me a benefit? Now they can. They can. If we go to our skill points and we take a look at promenade, they can increase your movement speed and exploration experience. So I love to collect these guys. And I think I've got all three of these, the cat, the penguin, and the dog, which I named after my own. Her name's Maggie. But this is something that I would explore after getting those points for our farm animals. Remember, there's pet stores in Sunhaven, Nelvari, and in Withergate. Lots to choose from. The last type of animal that we can use on our farm is called a mount. Now, these specifically allow us to travel faster or in a different style. You can see we've got a lion, we've got a fox here, and there are some others like a skateboard or a witch's broom that you can purchase from the mount shop here in Nelvari that's just north of the general store. Skill points relating to mounts are gonna be in the first column here under exploration. Note that's not under farming, under exploration. First row. To be able to use our mount, we're going to left click while the mount whistle is selected in our inventory. That should pop our mount right up. And you can see I've got the witch broom here, which looks absolutely so cute. Oh my goodness. If you'd like to hop off your mount, simply left click again with your mount selected. That should be everything you need to know about farm animals and mounts and pets. Hope this helped and enjoy your adventure.